Hello everyone, it's Tragic Plum Bob here. So in today's video, I've had a few requests on this, so um, I thought I'd give it a go, try and explain it. It's how to use the poses within Sims. So do you know what, someone on Twitter actually said to me they think they've been living under a rock because they didn't even know this existed. And to be honest, until this like end of 2020, I didn't know this existed either. I thought that magically people got them to do this like live in game and that's how they got the poses but no um there is a mod um and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to use this mod where to find this i'll link everything in the description um but yeah um i started using poses for a collab on instagram if you're interested in having a look my instagram is tragic plum bob but i did a nicholas sparks collab with a group of simmers and I got the notebook characters and I watched the film, had a cry obviously and then what I really wanted to do was I didn't want to just do like sims like standing in a row in their outfits I wanted them to look as if they were in the film so I did some research and then obviously found out all of this stuff um, it's not as complicated as it seems and I will try and explain it as simply and as quickly as possible so let's get straight into it the first thing that you need to do to be able to use the andrew pose player is you go to andrew's studio um, or just type in google andrew pose player and this will come up it'll be like the top thing on the list um so the andrew pose player is a mod um you will have to download this mod if you're in if you want me to do a video on how to add cc to your game and things please let me know um, in the comments because I don't mind doing that. If you're interested in reshade videos, please go to Paul Pancake's video because that's the best one and I'll be honest, I wouldn't even be able to explain it like as good as he Like he explained it so well that I'm not even going to attempt to try and explain it because, oh God. So trying to download reshade, I found very stressful, but that video did de-stress me. So go to that one. Don't even ask me to do it. But this one... Um, so yeah, you need to download this. It's basically, if you do know how to download CC, it's exactly the same thing. You download it, add it to your CC file. So once you've downloaded the Pose Player uh, mod, basically what will happen is, you. so you see here on the screen, um, the sim, like this little dog, it's got these options around it. So once you've downloaded that mod, it will come up with these options. So Pose by Pack, Stop Posing, Pose by Name, and basically this means so what will happen is you'll click onto the pose and then a list of poses will come up and you will um, be able to choose what you want your sim to do i will be going in game to kind of give an example and do this step by step so don't worry if that was a really quick example we are going to be going into the game and looking at this like in a bit more detail um, i will also be doing a video on like my top five pose creators so there are a lot of pose creators there are loads of places to find them but I'm going to give you like top five who, in my opinion, are like my favourite to use. So another essential item that you need to be able to use the Andrew Pose player is this item here. So this item here is the night object. It can be found in the build and buy once you have, um, once you've installed it. So here it gives. So on this website, it's really good as well because it gives you very simple instructions of what you need to do to be able to have the mod to be able to have this item in game so follow those you can also there are plenty of videos out there that show you how to download this into your game but again if you use cc it's exactly the same concept you um, download it add it to your mod file and it's quite is quite easy to do so this night object is a re so it is essential to be able to use poses especially in so if you want your sim to be in one like you know just kind of there waving then that's quite easy to do but if you've been on my instagram i've got toddlers who all jump on the bed at the same time you would not be able to do that pose without having this item in game so what this item is is it teleports your sim wherever you want it to go so really interestingly so you see this where it says summon a sim to here so another really good thing about this is let's say you wanted Mortimer Goff to be um, summoned to the area and you didn't want it, you wanted him to be interacting with someone in your household. As long as Mortimer is living in a house, if you click summon, it will bring up a list of households who are all in game. 
and you can then click there and you'll have Mortimer and Goff in your house and you'll be able to do a pose with him. Teleport a sim. So teleport a sim is literally your teleport. They, it's, not, it's used in um, the circumference of the house. So it's like a distance thing. If like, let's say the postman is by the house, then you would probably be able to teleport them into the house. But anyone who's in the area, you can teleport. But obviously, I mean, when you're, you, for me, when I'm using it, I'm not trying to teleport random people. I'm trying to teleport people in the house to create like a little story. But yeah, so you do need this game. So we'll, I'll show you like a few things of what you need to do, like for it going, so like when you're using it on beds, when you're using it on chairs, um, but you need to download this item. If you, if you only want to do simple poses, then no, do you know what? I was going to say it's not essential, but no, the Andrew Pose Player is essential. You need it to be able to use this and it will make your life a lot easier. But yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into game and I'm going to show you how to use some of the poses. Okay, so we're in the house of my favourite family. Um, I'm going to be using them as the example to show you how to use the Andrew Pose Player. So first things first, you have to go into your build and buy area. The easiest way that I found to find the teleporter as quickly as possible is I go to the kitchen, I go to the fruit bowl, and here he is, or she. Um, and basically, it depends on what you have in game. So if you've got like more CC and stuff, this might be harder to find. I mean, I've got loads of CC, so I think this still comes up first. So the easiest thing to do is go to the fruit bowl and it's normally there. You can also go to the dining room and that same fruit bowl and it, it, it normally appears for me like in the third. Um, if you do put any debug mode on, then it does seem to go further down the list. But generally it's quite easy to find. I mean, if you remember the sim teleporter destination, you can also search that. So you place the teleporter where you would like it to go. Um, so you, if you wanted two sims and you wanted them to do something together, you place them together. If you only want one sim, obviously you only put one sim. If you want three sims doing something together, you put them together. If you want two sims doing two different poses side by side, then you do it like this. But if it's a pose where it's got loads of characters all together, you must do this. Otherwise, they will all go in different directions and it will be chaos. But for the moment, we'll just use one sim just to show you. So, once you've placed the teleporter where you want to go, you go into game mode, then you click onto the um, knight symbol and it'll come up with two options. So as mentioned earlier, the summon a sim to here. So if you click summon a sim here, you can literally go on and you can summon the Grim Reaper, you can summon animals, you can summon anyone who is currently in the game, like who's in the neighbourhood and stuff. So it's really useful. Let's say, yeah, you wanted Mortimer Goff or you wanted the Grim Reaper to do like an interaction with your sim, then you can do that. So it's not just your sim that you have, you, your sims in your household that you ha can use, you can use this as well. So what I normally do is when I'm creating weddings, I will use this to get loads of people there to make it look as if it's a big wedding. But the option that we're going to be doing now is because I'm going to use the people in this house is teleport sim. So teleport options. So these are not everyone in my household. So when I was explaining earlier that basically teleport is like this comfort, it's like um, there must be a distance of how many people it picks up. So these people must be currently in the area and that's why they are appearing. They might be knocking on my door with a fruitcake. So I don't want to use them at the moment. I want to use my family members. So I'm going to use Nina. So yeah, this is Nina. She's one of my favorites. So now I've got Nina where I want her to be. I then click onto the sim. I do pose by pack. And bear with me because I do have quite a lot of poses. I'm Honestly, I'm like addicted to using them. So let's try and find like a single sim pose of one of them standing. Yeah, 10 years later. 10 years later. Yeah, here we go. Model poses. So Rat Boy Sims, great pose creator. Again, as I said previously, I will do a video on um, how to um, on my five favorite pose creators but then what you do is once you've chosen the pose that you the pose pack that you want to use you then click on the one that you um would like so you can either click on one you can click on all of them 
Um, what, one thing that I do struggle with, and some uh, pose creators do this very well, so Ratboy Simps does this very well. Um, basically, they do really good images on the side. Some people don't put those images on the side, so it can be really, really difficult to know what one is one it is. So it can be quite long winded sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, like some this is this can be like a really long winded process. So be prepared for long hours on Sims trying to do this. But what I'll do is I will click a few of them just so we can go through like them and we can have like a little look and see how that actually works. Okay, so I've given her like five. So then for the poses to then work, so, they, so if you click onto the sim, you can see here that she's now got um, a few actions to do and they are pose actions. Um, so what, so for her to then do this, you click on to live mode. And as you can see, she is now in that pose. Second pose. Then what you do is you click, um, you can either click the X here or you can click onto the sim. Oh, no, we can't click on the sim at the moment because her queue's too full. Okay, so you click here, uh, then click into live mode and she goes into the next one. Oh, I do have a phone in hand. But yeah, no, that phone wouldn't be there normally. But yeah, so again, want her to go into the next pose. You stop, go into live mode, and then she'll go into the next one. Let me just quickly change her outfit. There you go, outfit changed. So yeah, as I was trying to explain earlier, another way to um, stop the pose is so, yeah, you can either click it there like we've just done, or you can click onto the sim, and you do, normally it's here, but not today. You can click on this and it'll do stop posing, go into live mode, and then the sim will go into the next one. Do it again. Um, so you click on the sim, go into more options, stop posing, and then it will go into the next one. So they are really nice poses. Um, it's really simple to use, but let's try now to do um, a situation where we're using two sims. What about two sims sitting on the sofa? So now we're going to be using a pose where it uses two sims and they're going to be having a conversation on the sofa. So first things first, what you need to do is you have to put the teleporter in the middle of the sofa and you have to place two of them and they have to be on top of each other. So this is one of the reasons why you need this teleporter. Otherwise, you are not getting your sim on that sofa. It's not happening. Don't try it. I've tried it. It doesn't work. And the sims have the po the teleporter has to be two on top of each other. So I'll show you. Once you've teleported the sims that you wanted, so we're going to choose Nina. We're going to choose her brother Emilio. They will look a bit like this. So they all look like they're merged as one. You have to have them like this. Otherwise, you will have a sim going all over the place. Like you'll have one across the living room, one, and it doesn't work. So they have to be sitting on top of each other. There are a few odd occasions where they don't, but when you're first trying this pose out, try this way first, because this is the way that normally makes it work. Um, don't get me wrong, you will have trial and errors with poses. There have been times where I think one pose has taken me like an hour just to figure out how to use it. So it is trial and error and it's not, sometimes it's not an easy process. So to get them in the poses, so what I'm going to do is pose by pack um, and I've clicked on Emilio first. I'm then going to choose the pose that I want him to be in. So as you can see, I've got quite a few poses So this normally, to, this this honestly, this part takes me an hour. So we're gonna do couples react version one. So I'm gonna do male all in one. I love it when they when post creators do this so I don't have to click through and do all of them. I can literally just do all in one, bam. And then I'm gonna click on the female and I'm gonna do the same thing. So pose by pack, scroll down. Pose it, so yeah. Version one, female, all in one. 
and then when you click live mode they should go into place sometimes there is a delay so make sure you wait see and there we go they're both sitting on the middle of the sofa looking happy and because we've chosen the all-in-one option this will happen automatically when you're in our live mode so yeah um, I mean if it wasn't in light if it wasn't all in one then what you would do is you would just do what we did before when it was um, you click and you go stop pose then it would go into the next one stop pose and it would go into the next one but when it's all in one you can literally pose it when you want it so which is really really useful okay so the next uh, pose that I'm going to be showing you is one sim in a bed doing a pose that made it sound really dirty it's not going to be something dirty it's just going to be them like chilling in their bed with their phone so again i'm going to choose nina so teleport teleport nina so make sure you pause it or she'll start moving all over the place and she will really really start or he will start to really annoy you so make sure you've paused the game when you're getting them all set up so again you click onto the sim you click pose by pack and then we go if we're looking for the pose so this may take me a couple of seconds give me one minute there we go looking at phone in bed this is a really another great mod that if you haven't got you should try and have a look at um it's the um mcc command center it just makes life so much easier when you're um trying to use like poses and things so here you can see so this is an accessory so with some of the poses you will need accessory items so for example this phone is an accessory item um, to be able to get these accessory items you download them exactly the same as CC um, you add them to your mods fo folder and then when you're in a create a sim they'll be like in the accessories so in bracelets in nails um, in hats and it just make, it gives that like realism like so, you know she's in a bed at the moment she's looking at her phone and it makes it look like slightly realistic so and another quick tip so when I'm taking pictures I don't particularly like the plumb bob being there I mean I know it's sims and it but it just doesn't work for storytelling so a quick tip is um, you a quick tip for um, removing the plumb bob is you get the cheat bar up and you type in headline effects space off and it'll come up with a white bar which then confirms that they're off and as you can see she now does not have a plumb bob which ma this makes it a lot easier to like take pictures and stuff because you don't have that big diamond on top of her head and it looks a bit more realistic yeah so that is getting a sim onto a bed position so again as you saw in the beginning I made sure that the sim uh, the Andrew Pose player was placed here otherwise she will be going all over the place so for example let's say okay so what we're going to be doing is we're going to do that same pose but I'm going to place I've placed her off of the bed and I'm going to try and show you what it looks like if you don't place them on the bed and how it can make the pose not go to plan so as you can see she isn't on the bed looks a bit silly because now it looks like she's floating in midair um so this is the reason why when doing the poses you should place them on the bed i mean normally what's the best thing to do is place it in the middle because you know that they will always go somewhere on that bed i mean for this one i think it's fine like putting it there but again as i mentioned previously you do have to like mess around with this and work things out so yeah I mean I hope this video was really useful for you um I can do more I can try and if you want to see group poses um like with like 12 sims or maybe even like three sims then like let me know and I can um so I can do a video about that but yeah no I hope you enjoyed it but thank you for watching cheers